This is a quick update on this small butane torch that I showed in one of the earlier videos. Now, I'm particularly fascinated with this torch because it's like $8 and a few dollars for a can of fuel. And a person can do some serious copper flame coloring at very little expense. Not everybody wants an oxidacetylene torch or wants to spend the money for one. But here, you know, especially a jeweler can do some serious coloring with this inexpensive torch. I'm back to doing some ginkgo leaves for my gallery display. Now first off, copper conducts heat. It takes a bit more time to get this edge of the copper to heat up. Once it is heated up, the heat begins moving to other parts of the leaf. So then, I'll have to move just a little faster. What I've learned is to get the colors I want is to place the cone of the flame directly on the copper. I can feel the heat expanding down into the stem. Just a little bit too hot to hold in my hand. Now if for some reason I needed to hand hold the leaf, I would either use a pair of needle nose or gloves. Incidentally, this is being done in real time. Once the copper is warmed up, it all goes very quickly. I would rather have not had this fading on the left corner. But since I already have it, I'll see if I can match the color on the right corner. As mentioned in previous videos, if I don't like the color, I can wire brush the color off and start over. Now this is great color, but unfortunately, when I spray with a clear coating, I'll lose some of the blues and violets. But still, the results are quite good, and all done with an $8 butane torch.